Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? We back with another video. I hope all of y'all are having a blessed day. I hope y'all feeling good, living good, all that good shit, man. I just finished an amazing workout, man. I feel good. I feel I feel godly. I feel blessed. I woke up this morning. That's all that matters. And I wanted to share some of my energy with y'all, man. So I just wanted to leave y'all with this uh with this message, right? Take your time, okay? Take your fucking time, okay? Sometime in life, you have to just slow down, okay? Cause I know how society is. Like society make it out like you gotta have everything at one time. You gotta have this, you gotta have that, you gotta have this, you gotta have that, you gotta have this. And if you don't have it, you feel behind. If you don't have it, you feel like a failure. If you don't have it, you feel like you're not doing enough. If you don't have it, you feel like you're just being lazy and, and stagnant. Like bruh, everybody's timing is different. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes it's best to take your time and not rush things, you know? Because that shit can drive you crazy and stress you out. And you don't want that, you know what I'm saying? Like. One of the reasons why I was depressed these last few years is because I was just wanting too much shit at one time. My mom was focused on so many different fucking things. Like I was focused on money, trying to get better jobs, trying to get in a better situation, trying to save up to get me a car, trying to save up so I can move out. Like all this extra shit was just flowing through my head. Like I'm just trying to hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm 21 years old and you know, like at 21, at least in society's eyes, society look at it like, okay, if you're 21, you should have your own shit. You should have your own everything. You know what I'm saying? And I had to learn, like, bro, everybody time and the circumstances is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because somebody else might have something, you know, uh, have more shit going on than you, that don't mean you a failure or you behind. That just means everybody's time different. You don't know what that motherfucker had to go through to get there. You don't know what happened in, in that person's life for them to have to hurry up and get to where they, you know, some people come from toxic households. Some people come from, it's different for everybody. So all I'm telling y'all is, you know, take your time. Stop rushing things. Stop feeling like you need everything at one time and celebrate the small wins, okay? Like every day when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I work out. I feel good after my workout. I know I ain't the biggest nigga yet, but I celebrate the small wins. Just the fact that I was able to pit my mind through that tough time during the workout, that, that, that's a celebration for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sticking to my diet. You know, this is probably the first time ever that I've been sticking to the same exact diet and not letting the, the bad foods and all that extra shit get in the way of my fitness journey. Like that's a small win for me. You know what I mean? Like um, I used to be overwhelmed about YouTube. Like, damn, I'm not getting views. I'm not getting subscribers. My, my YouTube channel was failing, this, this, and this. But when I post videos and I look at my analytics, I see that my, my watch time is going up. So more people was watching my content from the beginning to the end. That's a small one. You can't always, you know, be looking for those, those super big wins all the time. That shit can drive you crazy. Celebrate the small wins and take your time. As long as you working and as long as you not being a lazy bitch, that's all that matters, okay? Don't complain. Don't wake up. Uh, uh, complaining and waiting for like no work hard do what you need to do and take your time don't rush the process because God is going to bless you God is going to put everything in your life and he's going to make sure that everything is together for you okay God is by your side God is not going to leave you out God ain't going to let you struggle God not going to let you stress and stay in that that situation you in for long hard times is temporary and every and through every hard time just think about all the hard shit you went through and you got through nigga so why is you stressing about this hard time? This ain't no different than the shit you already went through. Look how strong you is. Look, look at how powerful you is. Look at the shit you overcame. You done lost family members. You done, you, done, you done lost everybody. You done lost a lot of shit. And you still here. So why the fuck is you complaining? Why the fuck is you stressed? You still here. You still breathing. You still got a healthy body. Be appreciative over the small things in life and celebrate the small wins. Okay? It's going, it's, going, it's going to make you feel good. It's going to keep you at your journey. And you're just going to feel good overall. You know, smile. You know, life is beautiful. You know, like I told y'all in, in the video I made just the other day, you got to be intrigued with hard shit in life. You got to love the hard shit that happened in your life. Like, I'm at the point in my life where I love hard times because I always find a way to pivot. Everything that life throw at me, I find a way to get the fuck out of there. I never stay in one spot. That's one thing I noticed about me. I never stay in one spot. Okay, if I go broke, boom, I find a way to get some goddamn money. If I got to sell some shoes, if I got to sell some goddamn merchandise, if I got to go motherfucking put on my Instagram, I'm doing promos all day. If I got to do some features, I'm going to find a way to get some money. One thing about me, I ain't going to stay in no hard spot for long. I don't let life beat my ass and I sit there. <laughs> I don't do that. When life kick my ass, I get the fuck back up. And I beat, I beat life fast. That's how that shit go. So that's how you should be. Learn how to pivot. Learn how to, 
to strive in any situation that God throw at you. That's how you learn. That's how wisdom start. You know what I'm saying? This is this is why older people are so smart and so like just strong when it comes to things because they've been through a lot of shit leading up to their age. And it made them stronger. It made them more immune to hard times. It made them more immune to to difficult difficult and uncomfortable situations. And life you don't always want to be comfortable. You want to be uncomfortable. You want to be uncomfortable every day. You want to put yourself through something uncomfortable every day. What I do is I wake up, I take a cold ass shower every day. Very uncomfortable. I never take hot showers anymore. I take cold showers every day. It's uncomfortable, but it, it trains my mind to do uncomfortable things because I feel great after I get out of the cold shower. That's another thing I celebrate. That's a small win for me. Most people get in hot showers in the morning. I take a cold shower. I like to be the one that's being uncomfortable. I hate waking up early, but I've been training my body to wake up at 6 in the morning every day. I wake up at 6 a.m. every day, no matter what time I go to sleep. If I go to sleep at 1 a.m., I got to take that L and I got to just be tired throughout the day. But I'm, I'm, I told myself I'm waking up at 6 a.m. every day. I don't give a fuck what happens the previous night. That's just how I'm rocking this year, you know, but I celebrate those small wins. When I get out the shower, I be like, damn, I feel good. You feel what I'm saying? You got to you, you just got to pitch yourself through difficult times, man. You know, find some things with some things that's hard for you to do. Is going to the gym hard for you? If so, pitch yourself through that pain. Pitch yourself through that delayed gratification. Work hard and eventually you're going to see the results. But more of this video is take your time, man, and, and, and have fun with this journey. You know what I mean? Like this is a this is it's a beautiful journey. You know, you have to you have to fall. Mike Tyson said a quote in one of his videos on his podcast. He uh he had said, Every man has to fall in order to get back to the top. And it might sound like a cliche ass like quote, but like that's how I feel right now. Like I feel like like last year and like the pre like previous years leading up to now. I felt like I fell and I hit rock bottom, like just with everything in my life. Like I felt like my, my 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 career, my dreams didn't turn out the way I wanted it. My life didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Um, different things like that. I just felt like I fell to the bottom. But being being that I fell at the bottom, it taught me so much shit. It taught me to be stronger. It taught me to not be so goddamn emotional as a man. It taught me to not let my emotions dictate my actions. That's what a lot of men do, you know. Base they 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 base their decisions off of their emotions. And that's, that's as a man, you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? You don't want to lead off emotions. So what if you fucked up? So what if you depressed? So what if you stressed out? I keep telling y'all, life don't give a fuck about none of that. Life don't care about none of that. And as a man, you're going to have to go through things. As a man, you're going to have to do things that you don't want to do sometime. Like Some days, you, you ain't going to want to go to fuck the work. Shit, I got work today. You think I want to go sit up there with these motherfucking people all day? No, I don't. But I got to do what the fuck I got to do so I can handle my fucking business. So I can achieve the life I want. Who gives a fuck if I'm tired? Who gives a fuck if I had a long day the previous... I mean, nobody give a fuck about that. As a man, you got to do what you got to do. So that's that's all I'm leaving y'all with. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Take your time. Please don't rush the process. And have fun with this journey. And don't pay attention to nobody else's life. Your life... Focus on your journey and your journey only. Everybody else's journey is different. You don't know what, what's going on in other people's life. Focus on your journey. Don't worry about what all these other people got. It's a reason why God is holding you back from things. It's a reason why God is keeping you away from things. It's a reason why God is, is taking his time with you. Because you got a greater purpose. I'm out, y'all.